Hi, my name's Tom. I'm the lead singer and guitarist from Climbing Alice, and today we're releasing Melt Yourself Up. Hiya, I'm Charlie Padfield. I'm, uh, I'm releasing Balloon Magic tonight. Hi, I'm Guy Thomas. I play guitar for the Thomas Wilby Gang, and today we are releasing our debut album, uh, Backwards Cracking. Hi, I'm Dean. I'm the singer and guitarist with One Day After School, and today we're releasing our new EP, In Skeletal.
And we've released a few EPs on Philophobia Music before, um, which have been great, but with this new EP we spent a lot more time in the studio. It's more of a studio-based EP, so it's a lot more experimental. Uh, there's a couple of instrumental tracks on there. Uh, there's a lot more kind of atmospherics. Um, I guess we're kind of ripping off Slint and Mogwai and Low and bands like that. Um, but the idea was to just be as kind of honest as we could musically and lyrically. Um, and, and that's what the EP is about. We're releasing it on a USB stick because no one likes CDs, CDs anymore. We're not popular enough for a vinyl, so it was kind of like, let's do a USB. So it's a wood carved USB. And uh, it's kind of referencing that music's just data now, just ones and zeros. Um, but a USB seemed to be like an attractive way to release that. So that's the physical version of the EP. Basically, me and the guys went to Wakefield College, um, spent a lot of time with Pete Goodwin down there who's got a pretty DIY ethic to music that we really got into. Um, few, through a few of their modules, performance modules, we just started something that we liked and just carried on from there, really. We wanted to do an album, pretty much every band does like an EP or something or a single. And we had like loads of songs that we really liked. And uh, I've been in plenty of bands before and you always kick yourself if you don't record you know, the songs that you really like. So an album made a lot of sense to us. It's like a document of, uh, you know, a document of what we've been doing. Well, uh, to tell you the truth, I, uh, I couldn't get a band together. And uh, <laughs> I'd been writing plenty of folky songs, you know, and I sort of thought I might as well do something rather than nothing, waiting around for drummers and guitar players, etc. You know, it's, I wanted to be proactive. <laughs> Fantastic! It's uh, it's fantastic just to see, just to be a part of uh, such a great venue. You know, I've seen so many big bands on the major hall stage at Unity Works. Um, it's kind of cool that the local bands are getting a chance to play on there as well. Um, it's certainly a privilege for me. It'll be interesting to see it from that point of view. And you know, I don't think just because mu music's local doesn't mean it should be restricted to you know upstairs rooms of pubs, you know, it can be on the big stage and 
I just think it's really fun. It's great to be here at um, Unity Works, playing the Major Hall. Um, you know, we've uh, we've played here before. Uh, we've played on you know pretty much every stage now, I think, including the cafe bar. But playing on the Major Hall stage is a it's a real privilege, and uh, we're really pleased that we're being able to launch his album tonight. It's kind of nuts because we're used to kind of um, I guess basement gigs more than anything. It's infinitely bigger than anywhere else we've played before, but. It's a pretty awesome venue and I'm mega excited to play, so it should be good.
Cheers, guys. Thank you. I think it's Independent Venue Week is, is kind of new to me. I don't think it's really infiltrated Wakefield before. Um, but the more I've learned about it, I think it's really cool. Obviously, independent venues are really important because they, they support local artists and they support artists that aren't necessarily mainstream in what they're trying to do. So the whole thing seems hugely positive and I hope that it can get bigger in Wakefield next year. Because it means that, um, that everybody, everybody ends up getting heard, not just those who managed to break through in the pop charts or managed to get across to the masses, you know, it means everybody gets a chance to get heard and that's really important as a musician or any kind of artist, you know. Because I think a lot of musicians nowadays, they go through the internet, which is perfectly fine for certain styles of music, but for me, I've always been interested in bands and kind of live music and independent venues are really the kind of stepping stones that you kind of, your smaller bands, bands that are just starting up, that's how they get on the first run and get their names out there. So I think it's vitally important for any kind of next wave of music, genre or bands really. Independent venues are exceptionally important. Um, without, without that, you, you wouldn't get you know, live music the way that it is, whether it is in, uh, in Wakefield. Um, we're, you know, we're really lucky. We're really lucky to have this place. Um, I'm actually a shareholder myself. Uh, you know, it was a, a project where local people got together and you know, did what they could to get this place up and running and uh, I think a, a really good job has been done by everybody involved. It's really, uh, really helped us out. I do waffle on. Yeah, tell us what we've got. Uh, that's one of our debut albums, by the way, Back Cracking. This is a new guitar, this. It's absolutely gorgeous. It's a, a Bordello special.
Can 